Hey, welcome back. So, yesterday I, um, these are some things I've just been doing today. Stained glass windows, sort of old antique, but this is what I want to show you. Um, yesterday I, I had these little lace, if you remember these little lace, um, stencil pieces, which I actually coated in lip balm that I found out here and they worked in fact they worked for quite some time because I had a really long play with them but I found a better way <laughs> because they were quite um is it transparent sort of you know so you can rip them up and do whatever you like little windows but I wanted, I wanted to make a stained glass window, which was that first one I showed you, which I just, you know, I was quite really happy with that. I thought I could work on that process. Um, this was just, yeah. Okay. So what I thought I'd do is actually show you what I did. So yesterday, as I said, I showed, I, um, car used my lip balm to coat these. And what it's done is in, in using them, oh, I don't know where do you, actually, I've got something here. In using them, I've got a pink piece of paper already. Um, what they've, they've picked up, you see how they've picked up, the white has actually picked up the colour, but on the one that's um, waxed, which is this one, it's only, it's like grunged, it's only picked up half of it. This is picked up, this one here that I did today. This is sprayed with gold paint and that's actually made it a lot easier to deal with not sticky like this one this is very floppy still but um, this has just the most amazing colors and so forth on it now from me using it but it's as I said it's only in certain areas <laughs> so I, I'm yeah I just love it I love the the grunge look of the whole frame so I'm keeping those, the ones that I've actually finished with and that are looking absolutely sensational in all the different colours. And I'm moving on with the ones that I sprayed gold today. Now, the ones I sprayed gold today with, um, physically, I just got a can of... Oh, is that sheet of paper again? I got a can. And you probably all know this. Not that it, look, my, it hasn't been up for five minutes and, and no one's really commented or anything, so... Who knows? You probably spray all these pieces to use them as gold in your work. But you know how you're making embellishments for your own personal work and your own personal art journals. They have to be, you know, authentic to you. You know what I mean? And so, I mean, I love gold, but I, I, and, um, but I also love other colours, whereas some people might like pink, which pink is not my colour. This is my daughter's piece of cardboard. But do you know what I mean? Like, so whatever you're making, you have to kind of make them your own. So the gates and everything that have been, they look very, very antique and rusted and they're just sensational, Those the ones that I waxed. And uh, I love them. And these pieces will last quite, I uh, pretty much indefinitely. I've sprayed both sides with some gold paint and they're, they're actually quite durable. Quite durable indeed, but... Now, what I'm going to do, though, is um, I'm going to show you how I did the stained glass translucent, which one would you like to see? Maybe this one, the translucent um, stencil with all of the, all of the different colours and so forth. Okay, so this is my gold one, and we don't need the... The lip balm that can go probably in the rubbish bin now due to the fact that it wasn't good at the start. <laughs> Although those pieces, you know, they're interesting. I might keep it because you it's interesting to work with new things on, on the jelly plate, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do a gold background and place that on there. And then I'm just going to pull it. Um, now I've just got a piece that's just kicking around. It's actually smaller. It's um. No, I don't want to go over that. What do I want to go over? <laughs> that one there will do. There you go. It's got some blue I pulled off the plate. I use um my old, you know, my big plate 
at the side of me to clean my roller on because then I pull um, great back background um, colors but that is just the the pull off I don't actually I will use it clearly for something but I'm um, not for this purpose not for this purpose so the next bit I'm going to do is I'm actually getting a paintbrush I'm going to just on really rough way a bit of I want that much brown on there but I don't and then roll it and then the other color I want to put on is a bit of this now this is actually acrylic paint it's not even um, watered down or, or anything I feel like um, uh, what is it called again quinacridum nickel nickel ozone gold which is you know just such a tr beautiful color especially for um stained glass window someone's decided to cut down a tree right now when i'm recording that's just normally the way i might put a little bit up there like so then I also wish to, um, I think, do a little bit of blue in this one, just because I can, just because I've got another paintbrush and I can just grab a bit of blue out of that pot. with it as, as you wish but um, for me that will be fine okay so up we come I'm gonna let, take that off now which of course will leave the picture on there with the gold underneath um, I don't know whether you can see that you can actually see, you can probably see the blue in there, not so much the gold. But anyway, that's okay, that's fine. Um, I was playing earlier, while I wait for that to dry, I might just have a chat. Um, I was playing earlier and um, I was using inks and, and things in the layers and um, I got some really interesting um, pieces from them. Just, you know, obviously, the, just textural textural pieces yeah some of these are really really cute I mean a lot of them could be used in so many different ways and then there was this gate I did just recently and that was with red red and blue and then yeah so I just love I'm gonna have to master I don't know whether you can see that can you see that I put something behind um, I need to master that particular area there where it actually outlines everything and that's from the that's from um, overlaying um, this one I'm not doing that so much on I would I will show you that in the next um, the next step now, I need to pull this because I've got gold Just actually pull it. Rice paper. Not the layered one, is it? <laughs> That's the just the translucenty. I love it. The gold hasn't quite, hasn't quite left, not enough gold for you to see, but 
if you do it, you'll see that the gold is actually right on the edges of everywhere and it's just, it's so delicate, it's so beautiful, sensational. I love it. All right, so I will show you the other one where the, the layering while I'm here. And the sun has come out today, yay. Okay. I might do the maybe I'll do a door gate gold and I might just pull, no, you know, I'm not I'm just pulling this off because, um, I'm actually, I think. red around the edges and so so again um pulling off this is just a pull off of another day so i'll just put that on there at least it'll have a a background on the door Like so. This one, I like it. Pink and green, it's lovely, isn't it? That pink and okay, pink and green. All right. Then I'm going to well, maybe I'll do black. Maybe I'll do okay. So what are the colours? Well, I've got the gold and I've got the brown. And Well, maybe I'll do this. It's in peacock, that beautiful peacock colour. And to brown. Brown. I'm just going to pull a little bit of that off, actually. Oh, nice. Just pulled it onto that door sort of thing. Um, and then I am going to make the top bit. Blue. No, maybe I might. Maybe I just might leave that. That's enough layers. Okay. So it has gorgeous outline around each. So pulling it off. old one all right so quite a lot of quite a lot of detail on there left on the plate to, to dry a little bit but So, I really like um, answering anybody's questions. Um, not that anyone, oh no, there was a couple of questions. But I do like questions. I don't know really how to get questions. I don't even know whether at this point you can actually, um, you know, 
do that on my, I have no idea. I seriously have no idea. Uh, oh, I know what I can do actually. While we're waiting for this to dry, I can show you what I did with one of them. So this is my art journal from Robin McLennan um, online. And it's a different book that she's got because, of course, she's um, in America and um, goes to the Dollar Tree and gets all of her books. But um, I can't do that. So this this is my art journal. And I've written down in here all of the things that um, influence my life, um, that I'm passionate about in my life and that speak to me. So um, that's a general idea about the book. And I haven't done some of the pattern. You know, some, you know when you get a print that you really like, but you don't really know why, and you don't really know what you're going to do with it? Well, yeah, that's what that all is. But anyway, um, I've done quite a few pages in it on different days. And not all of them are finished. Working in progress. But there is one... Here we go. Okay, so this is the one, and I haven't quite finished this one either. So this is the one from yesterday, though. Um, I'll turn it around. This is the one from yesterday that I did with one of the mandala prints here. And when I was cleaning up on my jelly plate, on the big one, you know, with the sky, um, I pulled this piece and I... And I pulled the sand at another time yesterday. So I just, it just looked like sky and sand. So it was, a, you know, a real sort of picture happening. And then over here, this, this bit, I haven't quite worked out where I'm actually putting it yet. Um, or even whether it's the, the right shape. But anyway, um, those are mine from yesterday. And I feel like there's going to be one of the doors i can see i can or the window or something i can see sort of part there of a window part of the window going in somehow um or half of the door uh I, that's what i see i i i sort of you know i sort of see i see something like that maybe half of the door but not a whole you know, clearly not a whole piece like that because I don't work like that. It'll be um, ripped out and it'll be transparent so it'll only be half of it seen. So, and then um, what I wanted to do was is kind of write on it too. So I wanted to write what it meant to me, what, what how, why I was inspired to, to do it that way and what it brought up for me when, when I did it. All right, that's that, and um, I'll do another one in it probably today um, because um, I just really love you. Love um, I just love doing them. Okay, so this is another. Where's that pink piece of card? This is one I did yesterday with the wax, which is the wax is so interesting. That stuff, seriously. So can you can you? You probably can't. It's picked up so much. It's really subtle. And it, you'd have to put it on something quite um, quite dark, I reckon, behind it to pick it all up. But it's absolutely beautiful. It's got spick spickles of silver all through it. and yeah. So some of these papers I'm just in love with. Some work. And the ones that I think that aren't going to work do work. So I go, okay. So light or dark? Let's see. Um, I think we're going to go cream. I think we're going to pull um, a cream one. An actual one with the backing on it. This one I think I'm going to do. So I'm just going to put that there. Covered. Pull the pattern off because I have done that before today. 
And I'm going to print it even though it's kind of, it's actually, no, I might print it on this. I'm going to be transparent, so. Paper for those complete transparent ones. You know, this is semi, semi. There's a ghost print. You see that little bug crawling on my paper? He's interested in art, obviously. And then I'm also going to use that last bit just to clean the plate. Other bits and bobs you can... And here we go. So there's the first print, the second print. This is gorgeous, this middle print. The, like, the first one's got a little bit little bit too much red still left on, so yeah. But I love how it brings out the pattern with the green and the red and the cream. I love it. I don't, yeah, absolutely love it. And there's still some on my plate, which I'm probably, I don't know whether I should pick that up or leave it, really. Maybe I'll pick it up. All right. Um, okay, well, there you go. I have, that's all I've really got to say today. <laughs> that's all I was wanted to show you is that layering effect and how you get the silhouettes around everything and the colours and so. Have a play. I'm sure you can have a play with, you don't need to have these. Yeah, I mean, obviously you're, you've all got probably anything you can use, but that layering effect really, really does look gorgeous and with the silhouette around around everything and with using the gold it also it just it just highlights everything just love it this is see that didn't have gold on it so it's not as not as outstanding as these ones with gold yeah but um even so in the right circumstances and in the right place it would be sensational okay thank you for subscribing thank you for watching and thank you for liking if if um, you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Just ask me and I will answer them if I can. See you later. Bye.